This is a quick demo of the driver interaction with the 909 and temperature compensation. It's in the Mead standard driver. I have a little uh, DB script that opens up the Mead driver, uh, opens up the focuser driver, and then lets you interact with the temperature sensor. Front end on the Mead driver, scope port, 909 port, And then it goes looking for the 909. Here we can see a snoop of the communications. So he sends out a, an A, gets back a 6, and then starts pulling for temperature. This is the setup screen for the temperature compensated focuser. It's set for an absolute right now. You have the maximum position. You have the step size, which really doesn't do anything in this driver. You have the maximum increment that can be commanded at any one time. You have the step time in milliseconds, how many milliseconds per step. Uh, you can do half step, you can reverse direction, you can enable the temperature probe, enable temperature compensation, step sizing, uh, backlash compensation. Right now it says the current temperature is 21.5 C. We're in centigrade. For every one degree change in centigrade, we want to move 10 steps. Okay, and we'll we're going to average the temperature over five readings. Okay, so now it says enable temperature comp, heat up the sensor. So you can see it's polling here. It says it's 22 degrees C right at this time. It also brings you up a little window here so you can see what's going on. So it's currently at position 363. Okay, I'm going to move it out a couple. And you can see it's stepping out. Little stepper motor spinning that uh, little white dial is turning. I can't move the camera, it's just too too much of a pain in the butt. So we're at 463, we'll move out another hundred. And this is only because we're set for 10 steps per degree C, and I'm gonna take the sensor that we had before, and I'm gonna drop it into uh, some ice water. So here's that little sensor that we had before. So if we watch the temperature polling here, you can see it on the screen over there, 22 degrees also. So into the ice it goes. You can see it start to drop. I'm going to allow temperature compensation. Now with this script is going to do is when I hit OK on this button, it's going to go through and force the temperature the stepper position to change based upon what it was when I enabled temperature compensation to what it's going to be when it's done you can see it's dropping down pretty pretty extensively um, there's the traffic screen which says it actually here's how much it wants to move so far down at 4C. That's probably close enough. Okay, so when I hit this, it's going to start shifting the temperature under program control. So this way is after you're done with an image, you can take a sample of the temperature and you can uh, force it to compensate the focus after your image. You really, really don't want to do that in the middle of an image. Uh, especially with something like my LX200 that has backlash in the, uh, in the focuser and everything else. You know, a micro focuser would be fine, probably. And current temperature is that. Okay, now I'm going to pull it out. Ignore that cool down heat up. I got them backwards. So now I'm going to just hold it for a while. And you should be able to see the temperature start to go up. Eleven C, fourteen C. Remember, this is the average temperature that's taking place over five readings. You can select how many readings to average over. Uh, I usually use sixty, and it samples once a second. So we're back up to here, twenty-seven C. So now I'll tell it to do it. So now it's going to go and shift the focus position to match the current temperature.
remember we're set for a hundred millisecond increment, so it's stepping it it's stepping it quite slowly. It can go drastically faster. I've had it down to 25 milliseconds with this little Mitsumi stepper. Okay, and that's pretty much it for that one. Now I have another one here um, that let's run that again and allow automatic temperature compensation. keep the same parameters and we have this screen up now I'm going to allow it to do it automatically so as the temperature changes you should be able to see it focus for you so I'll stick it back in the ice And there it goes. So it's moving it automatically for you as it sees the temperature change. Again, it's being averaged over every five seconds, which is way overkill. <laughs> so it's down at two and a half C. It's still catching up. I mean, this is, these are drastic moves at 100 milliseconds, so it takes a while for it to catch up. It does not stamp, sample when it's stepping. So we're down at 2C. I'll take it out of there again. Heat it back up. And you can see the temperature going up. You see the position changing, temperature changing. previous steps and this steps is because of the five second integration interval that we have for the temperature averaging. And that's pretty much it. Thanks everybody.